We continue with the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Women's Volleyball Media Day. I'm your host, Stephen Davis. Right now, we're thrilled to be joined by Stu McDole, head coach of the Graceland Yellow Jackets, and junior Megan Janik. Coach Megan, how's it going today? Incredible. Wish we were ready. <laughs> I hear you. Coach, you're heading into year 41 now with the Yellow Jacket Volleyball Program. I, I know you, you enjoy this so much. How excited are you for this particular group and to get started with this team? Well, every group is exciting. This one is sort of special because we have so many new faces and we're going to have to rely a lot on freshman talent to make something happen. So it's uh, it's above the norm. Introduce us to uh, the lady sitting next to you, to Megan. Tell us a little bit about her and her importance to your team. Well, Megan is unusual. She is a 5'11 left-handed setter. And that's like every coach's dream because uh, they just aren't out there. Find a lefty is intriguing. Finding someone who's 5'11", that's intriguing. Finding someone who has passion for volleyball, that's intriguing. And we didn't find her by accident. She's the first and only ever uh, athlete we've ever had from North Carolina. She played in a club program with one of my former assistants uh, and who's a longtime Division I coach. And she has a sister who was playing for him. And he just had this offhand comment one day. He was traveling, came actually country from Iowa, traveling through Iowa. We had lunch together at a local pizza eatery. And he said, Stu, you need a 5'11 left-handed center? And I said, yeah, two thumbs up. Let's go for that. And sure enough, we were able to work that out. And as it happens, she's also a really nice match. I mean, we're high academic school. You know, she's a 4.0 student. Um, so she pretty much hits all the check marks. Absolutely. Megan, well, uh, Coach gave you a heck of an introduction there. Tell us about this journey to Graceland and why you thought it would be a good fit for you from your end. Obviously, Coach was enthusiastic to have you coming in. Yeah. Um, so I've been on quite a few college visits, but um, once I kind of came to Graceland and got to see the community and everyone was really welcoming, I had a Nerf gun battle my first day, like my during my visit. And that was so much fun with the people here and the team. I just like clicked really well with them, even at my initial audition. And so it was kind of like, it was a great fit for me, especially considering like academics is very high on my list of things that I want to focus on in college, as well as having like a really fun and learn more in the volleyball aspect as well. Uh, so that's kind of how I came to be around here and I enjoyed it every step of the way. <laughs> you mentioned academics. What's your major? What are your plans for after school? Yeah, so I'm a triple major in accounting, business administration, and economics. Um, I've kind of been exploring, so I could either go more of the accounting route or I could go more of the business economic side, which I actually had an internship this summer, so that was interesting to explore those that more of that path. Yeah. Coach, let's talk about your team on the floor for this year. Uh, what do you think the things you need to do to move up in the heart standings are with this group? Uh, we need some freshmen and some transfer kids to really perform. <laughs> we, we returned zero middles, only one left side. So those people are all new. They're probably going to have a new right side as well. I mean, we're solid down the core. The platforms are returning. The setting is returning. You know, we have uh, 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 HM, uh, honorable mention all conference, right, left side returning, but, you know, got a, our freshmen in the middle and right side have got to perform. Uh, we've got a couple of sophomores, you know, one who was here and wants to transfer who needs to perform. Uh, if, they, if they make it happen, we can be pretty good. Um, but it's going to be a growing process because they've never played at this level, uh, especially the high schoolers coming in. It's a, you know, it's a major leap uh, to be able to make that jump from even good club uh, to the kind of ball that we have to play here to be successful. So, you know, we're going to be selling the dam on the fact that we have to mature as it happens. If we can get to mid-season form by mid-season, then things will be happy, pleasant, positive, successful, all the above. Coach, four plus decades coaching this sport. 
tell us how you've seen the game evolve, specifically like the athleticism of the ladies playing and specifically college volleyball and uh, specifically in the heart. Well, the explosion of the club scene and youth volleyball, you know, it, it used to be, well, you know, honestly, the coach could make a real serious difference in the heart. Uh, coaches who knew the game and who could uh, get the best out of athletes could win. But you can't anymore. Uh, at the end of the day, coaching at some level makes less of an impact than just the quality athletes that are on the floor. And there are so many more. I mean, on President's Day alone, there are 17 three-day tournaments in youth volleyball that are going on with probably thousands of teams. I mean, it, it just it's the biggest tournament. There's like 1,200 teams. You know, I mean, if you just start looking at that and you say, whoa, there are so many kids out there and they're getting so many repetitions. And because of the club scene, they tend to be getting better coaching than in the typical high school scene. And so the, the number of, of young women who have passion for the game and who have the capability to perform successfully at the college level has really exploded. And then you get, if you look at the top 15 college programs in the NAIA, they're out there skimming international talent out of the JUCOs or from Brazil or Eastern Europe or wherever they go. And that happens not to be a real fit to our enrollment model, uh, but those schools tend to bring in somewhat older athletes, somewhat more experienced athletes because they played at a really high level for a long time. Megan, can you kind of sum up what your experience playing volleyball at Graceland has been like to get to play the sport you love at the collegiate level and, and do it for a legend like Coach McDowell? Yeah, it's been, wow, it's been a roller coaster of a ride, that's for sure, because I've been here for two years so far, and we've had our challenges first the year with COVID, so that kind of disrupted the season for, twice for us. And then last year, it was difficult because we had gym renovations going on. So it's just been a roller coaster, but I really enjoyed like, like going through it with my teammates and having Stu as a coach has really been like, I feel like we've been on top of things where we've been trying to get as many reps in as we can and make the best out of most of, of all the situations that are thrown our way. So it's definitely been a really fun experience, but we've definitely had our difficulties. So. <laughs> Coach, we're wrapping things up by asking every coach in the league the same question. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when somebody says heart women's volleyball? Uh, four or five nasty ranked teams. you got to be ready every night when you hit the floor. The, the quality of the coaching has universally escalated over the last few years. Uh, and it's, it's a challenge to be successful in the heart. I mean, you can be a really good team and and finish in the middle of the pack. Coach, Megan, we appreciate your time today. Best of luck in the 2022 season. We accept. Thank you. Thanks.